a highly requested group, so we might as well do it. I've got one or two more videos in me. Hi, I'm D Dog, this is Teacher Rex. I'm a classroom of news videos, and I start reacting on my channel. This is Illit, a new group alert because they just debuted, I think. Look, we're gonna do our research right now since we've never heard of this group before. Illit, I will be it, formerly known as Al It, is a five member South Korean girl group under B Lift Lab. The group was formed from Are You Next, the survival show that was a collaboration between Hybe and JTBC. Uh, the members are Yuna, Minju, Mocha, Wanhee, and Uroha. They were originally supposed to debut as a six-member group, but Youngso, who was a pre-debut member, left before they debut. They made their debut on March 25th. I believe this is right after. This is the second one, which is Lucky Girl Syndrome. The first one, which was their debut, is Magnetic. We, I decided to pick this song. Look, it was a tie between the two. We could do both. If I decide to like this one enough, maybe I'll go do Magnetic as well. As you all know, I don't do a lot of girl groups on my channel. I'm going to try to fix that in year three of D Teacher Reacts and be more open with what I listen to. And hopefully we learn and experience new things. So this is Illit's Lucky Girl Syndrome. If you like this video, click the like button. It makes me, good, makes me feel good about myself. And as always, subscribe. We're on the road to 2K. Also, there's some babies in here. Somebody's like from 2008, I think. <laughs> Very pretty. The the sound. It's very pretty. Like that pluckiness. Almost like a music box quality. The nice bass too. What's this chorus gonna be? Not bad, I like it. I hope they do more than just say the word luck over and over again. These verses are very plucky, bouncy, and fun. Like, I know it's not very complex. They're just following along with the melody and the melody is just plucking along on a guitar. But it's very good. Like I said before, that plucky, plucky sound of it is very pretty with that acoustic guitar. Almost like a chime. There might even have been chimes in there for all I know. This chorus leaves a lot to be desired though. That almost music box quality, the music box sound of it. Then you have those little synths going down. That's real good. I just wish that uh, that chorus was a little bit more complex when it comes to lyrics. I like your voice a lot. the end it's a it's a nice yeah it's a nice melody it's not something so like it, we're facing an uphill battle every time we have this type of song on my channel we know this i'm not into the cutesy stuff i never get into it however i usually really enjoy when people's vocals can be flexed and i do love these verses i like them following these melodies it's very poppy it's very catchy it's very fun that chorus is just not me that's not a thing that i like this screams uh repetitive and boring to me when it comes to the chorus but that's okay that just means i don't like it i bet you there's a bunch of people that do I just really like these verses more importantly. I like the more fun type stuff where you're following an actual guitar that's following along with you and everything. I find that very good. You know what we might do though? I have time for it. So why don't we go ahead and do a double feature, baby? Let's go ahead and bring up Magnetic. I'm gonna go find that real quick. And we're back. Hello, I'm D Dog. This is Teacher Reacts. This is part two of what I'm gonna just do a double feature on Illit because they have magnetic. Lucky Girl Syndrome was fine, but magnetic might be better or worse. Who knows? It has a, about four times as many views, and I believe I've seen magnetic pop up just in in like YouTube Shorts form of like maybe like some type of dance or something. 
I don't know. I don't I don't remember anything from it. What I do know is that this is their debut, I think. I think it's their debut. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But uh maybe this will give me more insight if I like because they had a lot of they had a lot of good in magnetic uh, or not magnet in uh, lucky girl syndrome. The only thing I didn't like was the chorus. So maybe this will have a better chorus for me. Who knows? I'm gonna press play. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Baby, I'm just trying to play cool, but I just can hide that. That instrumental. It's very similar. I like that though. I like that they're hitting those words together. Also, this verse is good too. Once again, the verses are great. What we got? You know what? It's better than the other one. Especially because the it's got an almost an electronic dance vibe feel to it. I might have spoke too soon. Look, I'm I'm confuzzled. We'll talk more in a second. That back instrumental is so good. That keyboard that's happening. Once again, it falls into these verses being more pre more preferable than the chorus. It's not bad though. I just don't think it's for me. This might just be one of those groups that I just... I have seen this before because I've seen people do the hand thing. I remember seeing that. This part's neat. Nice little call and response. Nice harmonies. There's lots of good here. Like, there is a lot of good in this song. And I think I prefer this one over Lucky Girl Syndrome. It's got like a dance club vibe to it, if that makes sense. It's got something that would be playing in the background of a casino. Uh, <laughs> like, it's something you wouldn't actively sing along to, but like, you would you would bob your head for a little bit when you hear the you, you, you over and over again. This part is fine. I, I wouldn't even, this part, I wouldn't even know that it's saying the word bay. I think it's it would just sound like an electronic sound to me. It's not bad. I like Magnetic a lot more than Lucky Girl Syndrome. I just think that this is definitely not a vibe for me. I can recognize the talent though. It's like New Jeans. <laughs> Uh, you know, we love making comparisons here. It's like New Jeans. New Jeans uh, is a group that I can't get into. I've yet to find a song I like, but I can understand like the power of like Super Shy and how that took over the K-pop scene of just a million, a million people like that. It's just, it, and that's why I got nominated for one of the year end awards because even with me not liking the song as much, uh, I can understand the importance of that song. And this is very much in the same vein as a New Jeans song. It's very much this dance. I'm going to call it light dance, L-I-G-H-T dance. It's a very fairy type dancing, very upbeat thing to where like this chorus is fine. It's very electro club dance type thing. I could hear it in the background. I still think the, the verses are much better on both songs, but that's because I get to hear more of their voices. I don't get to hear a lot of their voices in the actual chorus. So that's probably why I just, I maybe in later songs, I might like them more, but this is really good. This part here, th that instrumental in the background is great. That little uh, keyboard that's playing around in the background see if you can hear it. Yeah, that part. I really like that. Reminds me of a video game. Anyway, that's really all I have.
a level a, a lovely little double feature for the most part not for me but i can see the i can see the goodness that can, i see the potential that could be very good uh that's pretty much all i have though we'll have one more video after this and then i'm done recording because man my throat is giving up i will see you all next time goodbye everybody